Well, it's time to indulge in some nostalgia. Remember 1927? <laughs> yeah. I nearly got that out. Uh, the band with the, you know, unforgettable hits. Love this music. They were a big feature of the 80s. But just in case you don't recall them, here's a little flashback. It's been 26 years since 1927 formed and they remain one of Australia's most iconic bands. They entered the charts with this pop rock classic back in 1988. It was an instant hit, peaking at number six and earning them a place in ARIA award history. Then came their hugely successful anthem, If I Could. The band backed up with two more top 20 singles, You'll Never Know and Compulsory Hero. Everybody had to be a hero, get one in the heart. By the 90s, 1927 began enduring lineup changes. They remained popular with their fans, but ultimately disbanded in 1993. Four years ago, 1927 reformed, this time with a new lineup. Led by its original lead singer, Eric, adding Damien on drums, Craig on lead guitar, Simon on bass guitar and backing vocals. And two of the band members join us now for a little chat. 1927's lead singer and guitarist, Eric Weedman, and bass guitarist and backing singer, Simon Shapiro. Good morning, guys. Morning. We need to settle the hair debate straight away. You're looking at the hair, you guys are fighting. You're saying mullet, you're saying Elvis. What it's because, was it? Well, it's, a, it's, an, it's an Elvis thing because I've been, like, hassled for years about, oh, man, you had such a mullet. It was like, I've never had a mullet. And well, we were yeah. just looking through those clips just now and we're like, there's no mullet. It was a bit Paul Young. It was, it, it, was, it, was, well, it was verging on mullet. You know. <laughs> it was a, on the edge of a mullet. And, and it was a, there it is, look. It's a badger. It was slight <laughs> mullet with a bouffant twist. It's, it front. has a bouffant twist. A yes, bouffant it does. Twist. With an acid wash jean, <laughs> topped off nicely. I was Absolutely. going to ask you know what, all that chambre, let's mm. call it, is really <laughs> in at the moment. Did you keep all that denim? Oh, God, no. Oh, man. No, it's no, so there, in at the moment. There's people moment. without clothes that need them, you know. So. <laughs> hey, let's talk a little bit of music. Eric, of course, the original member. Back in the day, mate, things were, were flying high. Madness. Was a great time. Madness? Yeah. yeah. How? Madness. Well, you know, I came from basically complete obscurity into a band that was really, really famous. Yeah. And the kind of person that I am, I'm virtually a recluse. So, you know, being in the limelight and all that kind of thing is pretty strange for me. Yeah, right. Yeah. Okay. So, Simon, you've been with the band for the last four years. How does it feel to sort of then carry this classic music into the future? Well, I think it's a great honour to play songs that, that people have had part of their lives for the last 20 years. Yeah. So you still see it in, the, in their faces at every gig, the affection that they have for the song. So it, it's just a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. Is the new stuff as exciting for you, Eric? Is the, is the old, uh, have times changed? Are you mellow with it now? As opposed to being... Oh, yeah, I'm okay with it, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah I don't have a problem with it. I mean, it, music is uh, its a, the biggest part of my life. I couldn't be without it, so, mm. yeah. So I just have to deal with it. <laughs> <laughs> Simon, did you have a favourite song coming in to the band? Absolutely. Yeah, but it's not by 1927. Oh, <laughs> it's by Elvis. No, hang on, let, let me say the question. No, did I you did, have I a favourite 1927 song? <laughs> when you came in? I probably had a couple, but your Compulsory Hero always rang true to me. Yeah. yeah. Um, so that's one that always kind of always hit, hit me here. Mm. Mm. And Eric, what, what's the one the fans always want you guys to play? Oh, if I could. If, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. It's yeah. everybody's favourite song. Apparently, it's everybody's favourite wedding march as well. So oh. that, it would have been huge in the wedding with the weddings back yeah, in the day. Yeah. Why do you think the fans have stayed so supportive over the years? Because you guys have chopped and changed and dipped in and dipped out, and oh, they've stayed true. I don't know why they are, but I mean, I, from, I'm a music fan as well. So all the music that I've loved over the years, I, I, I stick with because it's something that rang true with me at one point. And I don't think you really get over that You're yet. Right. You're right. right. Well, you have some exciting news for us because your new album has just been released today. Well, it's actually The Essentials, which which contains uh, some tracks from the new album. The new album's out on... August the 9th August is the, the 9th. new album, Generation I, yeah. okay, which you just well, showed up there. Yeah. Sure, well, you've got some best hits as well. We've recorded two new songs. Uh, you're going to give us a sneak peek. Let's have a listen to a snippet of The Story Never Ends. This is it.
Monday he'll earn enough money to buy another T-shirt. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> now, you've got some more exciting news too, right? So you touched on this just a second ago, the new album, Generation I, right? Yeah, yeah. Coming around in August. So tell us a bit about this one. Generation I, yeah, it's coming around in, what was it? August, August the 9th. August the 9th, yeah, yeah, this one's been... Oh, so this is the, the mix of the old and new and... No, no this, this is, is the a, new album with yeah, all the new tracks. A brand new, yeah, it's like a, it's like a new cake. So the one that's out mm. today, right today, available now on iTunes, is the 1927 Essentials. That's got all the hits that people know from from the albums. Oh, okay. Oh, cool. And it's got two of the new songs which we've put on there as, as See, that's when you confuse us when you release two albums in the <laughs> same decade. <laughs> yeah, yeah. See, they had to sneak the two confusing. new ones on the best of so that you got a slice of the action, right? Oh, well, that wasn't <laughs> the reason why. Exactly. No, I'm right. joking. You're also touring uh, from this month, right? Tell well, us about yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, we're heading. Uh, well, we've we've been on tour for the last four years, but um, oh, we're right. heading up to Lazotte's uh, Theatre Restaurants. Yeah. Uh, next weekend, and from there on, I don't have a list of dates, yeah. but we've got squillions of dates. That we're going to put we're going to put all those on our website. Oh, thank you. Yes, right. we've yeah. got all that. There's yeah. going to be more announced in the next few weeks as well, so just stay in, stay all in touch. Right. Uh, guys, thank you very much for having a chat. No worries. Good thank to see you. you. But we're not letting you get away that easily <laughs> <laughs> because 1927 will be performing a mashup of two of their most loved songs. I love that you put these two together. Yeah, yeah, looking yeah. forward to it. And for the upcoming tour dates, of course, just see our Daily Show info section right there on our website. Plenty of dates. Get out and catch the guys. Great tunes. Okay, thanks.